Hey everyone, it's Mindes here, and welcome back to another episode of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're in the future! Uh, so let's go check out what this world looks like. Since I have no idea. Oh boy, uh, Death Mountain looks cool. <laughs> uh, right, terrible thing. Uh, it seems to be night time. What time is it, Mr. Boing Boing? It is, in fact, 12 o'clock midday. So when I said it was night time, <laughs> I was a little bit incorrect. Oh hey, this is... Well yeah, this is definitely Hyrule Market. It looks pretty much the same as it did before, I'm pretty sure. What are you guys? You guys are trying to... Ah, you're, you, you, seem, you appear to be on me. Could you... Any chance you could get off, please, dude? Um, uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> so, um, what's your deal? Are you, are you just an enemy? Okay, I thought you were a friendly guy that I could talk to, but... Well, clearly not. Okay, well I've learned my lesson now. <laughs> Don't let these guys attach themselves to your faces. Are these re-deads? I'm not sure. Okay, so can I go down these back alleys that I used to be able to go down? No. Okay, do I want to go towards the castle? Or do I want to go towards the entrance of the town? Uh, choices, choices! Let's head towards the castle. Yeah, these guys are pretty creepy. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering. So, oh boy. Everything's pretty, oh. Destroyed. That looks like a nice place. That, that looks like a not very destroyed place. Let's go live there. Let's go see the guy that visits that place. I'm sure he'll be very friendly. Guessing that's Ganon's castle, right? <laughs> Judging by the uh, the writing that just appeared, I'm guessing that is Ganon's castle. So, should we go say hi to the resident Ganon, the resident pig? I think we should go and do that. Um, oh, <laughs> he doesn't like visitors. Then is that what we're taking away from this visual? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll come back and visit you later, Ganon. I'm so tempted to jump in there. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm just going to keep edging towards the edge. And just, I, I, I can't resist. Let's be honest. Yeah, there was no way that was going to be resisted. Okay. So now we know what happens. <laughs> uh, he doesn't like visitors. Can I go around to the left of his castle? Doesn't look like it. No, okay, well, let's not accidentally fall off this time. Because last time was totally by accident. And let's go over here. What is through this arch? Because I remember this place was guarded last time. But I think it was just like a path up to the, the castle. Okay. Uh, rocks. Good. Good to know we still have rocks in the future. And a uh, thing... Yeah, oh, I can use my bombs. I do have, my, have the use of my bombs. And there's a, a wall of some kind. Which looks suspicious for some reason. I can't imagine why. Okay, well, this has been a nice little trip. Uh, should I waste my bombs on destroying these? I think I will. I think I will. Just because... Uh, wait, you can't even destroy them. Fair enough! Well, that was a waste of a bomb then. But at least knowledge has been learned. What's that? Oh, it's a skull taller! Skull taller! Okay. This wasn't entirely. Wait, how? Uh, no boomerang! No. Uh, catapult. <laughs> this is so not gonna win. Oh, so not gonna win well. How do I. Yeah. No! I, was, I wanted to jump for it! Damn it! <laughs> is it possible to get that? Um, well, I'm going to guess no for now. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't have the use of my boomerang or my slingshot, so I can't really get that. So, hey, sounds of screaming. Just what I love to hear in my favourite tone. Right. Oh, hey, a door. So not everywhere is completely destroyed. Are you also an enemy? Just to be safe, I'm going to throw a pot at your face. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure you're a friendly guy, right? Yeah, you look friendly. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry about throwing a pot at your face. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a nice guy. Uh, yes, my name is Mindez. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, and you can read my mind. Okay, what number am I thinking of? No, that's not what number I'm thinking of at all. God, rubbish. If I was going to do I could run a different kind of business. I have no idea to what you are alluding. <laughs> my shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Oh, you sell ghosts? Okay. It is a fine time for a business like this. Okay. So it's Ganondorf and not Ganon. Are Ganondorf and Ganon two different people? Because when we went to the castle, it was Ganon's castle. So are there two different uh, enemies? Or is that just reading too much into it or something? The ghosts called Poes are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyards. They hate the world. So the Poes are dead emo kids. Okay. If you catch a Poe, buy a lot of money. So how exactly do I catch a Poe? Oh, okay. So I've got points. Wonderful. Okay, give me the heart. I, I kind of want a little bit of health. Oh. You know what? I'm actually going to read what he says. <laughs> One day. Hey, what's happening? Not a whole lot. I do not have any pose. No, my card now has zero points. It always looks like it skips a lot more text than it actually does. No, no, no. Do not want to talk to you again. Please stop talking to me. Right, yeah, so let's just fill up on hearts real quick. Uh, hopefully I will get enough in these pots over here, although I could theoretically keep coming back into this house, I guess, but I'm not actually going to do that because that would be incredible. Is that a... No, I thought I saw another skull tuller in the corner. <laughs> Uh, not that it matters, because like I say, I have absolutely no ranged anything whatsoever. I'm sure I can hear a Skulltulla. Can I? Or is that just fire flickering? I can hear something, but... Oh well. I guess we'll worry about it later. Okay. So let's go see what the rest of the world looks like. Because Hyrule Town's still a nice, cheery place. Okay. Uh, can I actually get back there? Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, well, I could easily get back there. Okay, so let's have a look at our map. Do we know where we need to be going? Oh, yes, Kakariko Village. That's right. Let's head towards Kakariko Village, which is this away. Uh... Alrighty, it's very quiet. Like, this is the middle of the day, I th Uh, wait. Oh, it's getting lighter. That's good. It's good to know that it does actually get lighter, so... You know, the future doesn't actually look that bad. I think the future looks pretty pleasant from where I'm, uh, walking. So, Kakariko Village. Is Kakariko Village still a place that exists? Or is it just, like, run down or something like that? Let's go have a look. It still looks fairly intact. Yeah, this place is still fairly intact. What gives? I guess Ganondorf's power hasn't extended this far? Because this place isn't that far from Hyrule Town. <laughs> uh, right. All I've been told is to go to Kakariko Village. I've not actually been told anything beyond that. I noticed there's nobody... Around? Are you all in your houses or something? Let's go see if people are in people's houses because this was the place where the Skulltullers were, right? Yes. And it still is. Okay. So even in the future, like even seven years in the future, I've still not found enough Skulltullers to get a good reward. Okay. That is unfortunate. So where's everyone else? Is it just the time of day, or are they all hiding from Ganondorf, or something like that? Can I destroy these? I completely forget. <laughs> I'm not great. Okay, yes, I can by smashing my face against them. Good. That makes sense. I'm so glad that I have made that discovery. So yeah, wasn't there a person in here? Yeah, you. Where is everyone? Uh... Lady asked me about the chickens. Okay, so 
People appear to be acting relatively normally. No one believes that I've been telling them all these past seven years. Okay. Well, tell me. I'd believe you. If you want to tell me. Well, no, you want to just keep saying. You don't just want to keep complaining that no one's listening to you. Even though you're not say, saying anything. Okay, you're the chicken person, aren't you? Okay, I don't see any chickens, but I, I won't tease them if I do come across them. I'll just pick them up and throw them around a bit, because that's what I do. Um, oh hey, the, the, this house is finished. Uh, this house didn't exist before, right? Uh, does it actually have an entrance? <laughs> yes, it does have an entrance, and I can destroy that crate. Uh, shooting gallery, open only during the... Oh, so it is night time. <laughs> I... I'm pretty sure I entered this town when it was still day, right? I thought I did, but... Well, clearly this game has other opinions. Oh well. Let's go outside, wait for it to become day, because of course time can't pass it. Oh, I could just play the song, couldn't I? I could just play that, uh, yeah, I can press L and R to move quickly through the menu, by the way. I could just play the sun song, which is right down up. Uh, right down up, right down up. Da da da, da 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 la 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 la. And that'll make it day. Okay! So is everyone around now? Yes. Good. Okay. So yeah, this place still looks pretty happy. You know, the future is not that bad. Maybe Ganondorf really is a pretty good, uh, pretty good leader. Uh, saw the ghostly figure of Dampe the Gravekeeper sinking into his grave, holding some kind of treasure. I like treasure. Wa ha 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 ha. Escape from Howard Castleton. He's become timid. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about, dude, but. Carry on. <laughs> so yeah, this place is still nice and calm. Maybe Ganondorf's not that bad of a leader after all. Maybe maybe we should just leave things as they are, you know? Uh, is that window floating off the wall? It kind of looked like it very strongly for a minute. <laughs> uh, so, some, so, are you suggesting that I go to the graveyard? I think that is what you are suggesting. A pocket cuckoo? I like pocket cuckoos. I like things that I can put in my pockets. Cuckoos are getting good, very lazy. Uh, okay. Cuckoo! Okay. <laughs> my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. I, yes, I'm good at handling cuckoos. I'm good at throwing them in rivers. And yes, excellent. I'll take this egg, sure. <laughs> After this cuckoo hatches, I will throw it into a river though. I just, I hope you realise that. Okay, let's do it. I've got myself an egg. It's a pocket egg. A pocket cuckoo will hatch from it overnight. Be sure to give it back when you are done with it. So, uh, if I were to just like... If I were to actually put in the correct co code instead of just flailing about randomly on the thingies. If I were to actually wait for overnight, would no, I don't want that. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a random floating bomb now. It's a mysterious random floating bomb of Kakari covered. Yeah, chicken hatch from the egg. It's the miracle of life. Oh man, I'm a mummy. What? What? Who, uh, what? I thought that was a chicken. <laughs> a long time ago, there was a man in this very village who had an eye they said could see the truth. Now, usually, you have to train your mind's eye most strenuously to see the truth. But this fellow, no, he had a different way of doing things. His hair stood where the well is now. So that was before seven years ago, okay. Hey lady, I've got your chicken. You want your chicken? Because <laughs> we have a very because we have a nice little link upskirt shot here. <laughs> oh no, you don't want your chicken back. Well, I've got myself a chicken. So, what should I do with my chicken? What should I call him? I'll call him George. I have George. He is here. 
I have him stored in my pants for some reason. It looks like this item doesn't work here. <laughs> I have a chicken. You want the chicken? You don't want the chicken? Okay. Um, I really want to throw this chicken in the river, but there isn't one. Oh well. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I have a chicken, but. I definitely have a chicken. So what was these people saying about the graveyard and someone seeing a person in the graveyard? Uh, I'm sure they were saying something. Hey, what's what, what's the... Ah, you! You are who? Who? What the who? Who are you? I don't know, but you're not anymore. Are you? Hi. Hi, spirit. Are you a Poe? Yes, let's catch it in a bottle. That's what a Poe is. Okay. Uh, now what can I do else in the graveyard? Is that what they were hinting me to? I think maybe. Very maybe. Uh, there was a thing here. Yeah, that. Oh, you're, are you also a pill? Because, yeah, I could see you way in the past. Uh, do I have any more bottles? I don't have an empty bottle. Okay. So what can I get with my Poe? Uh, I don't think there's actually anything good to find in the in this place, right? Unless I were to like pull this grave out of the way and find some kind of secret passage under it. Oh man! Some comments I accidentally read when I don't really want to. Yeah. Found a thing. Oh boy. <laughs> it is a rupee. Is that it? Is that really everything that's in here? Oh no wait, this is a door, isn't it? I thought I thought that was what a door looked like. Can I pick up these? No? So that is literally all that's down here. Okay. I accept that problem I accept that uh uh reality entirely. So what is that over here? Yeah, wasn't this locked before or something? I don't think I ever came in here. The Gravekeeper's Hut. The Gravekeeper's Diary. Okay. Yeah, let's read his diary. This sounds like fun. Please enter my grave. I'll let you have my stretching, shine, shrinking keepsake. I'm waiting for you. Okay. So, yeah. I think it's pretty obvious that something's going on in this graveyard involving finding this damp person. Uh, R.I.P. people, shikas, things like that. So is it this one? Is this, does this say damp Can I read them at all? No? Wow. So I literally have no idea which one I'm looking for. Can I grab any of them? Yes. Okay, so now I've got to go through all of the freaking Things. That's not a hole, is it? No. So now I've got to pull back all of the graves, just in the hopes of finding some kind of passage of some kind, I guess. Because I found a passage, but it only led to five rupees, and it was on this one. Oh wait, maybe it's just the ones with grass in front. Yes, that makes sense. Go away, Poe. I can't deal with you right now. So is it this? Aha! I can understand basic symbols. Uh, whoa. Question mark? Oh dear. And I'm guessing that's Dampe over there. Uh, I'm not following you, Dampe. I've got pots to smash first. Incredibly important. Why is this pot not smashing? Thank you. Yeah, I got, I got pots to smash, Dampe. I'm sorry, but you are not exactly top of my priority list right now. Uh, pots will always come first in my books. Oh, come on. Destroy, destroy. I can't even tell if I'm destroying them here. <laughs> uh, camera angles. They are the worst. Okay, Dampe. Let's go somewhere. I'm guessing you're going to leave me down in this place? Hi there. Yeah, hi, it's me. Uh, am I faster? Oh, no. It's not going to be a race, is it? <laughs> I may not look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Oh, dear. That's not good. He's, hang on, he's using fire. That's not fair. That's cheating. 
Let's have a race. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna set you on fire. And I'm guessing this is the wrong way. <laughs> uh, which way do I have to go? Like, it's not. It does. It, uh, well, whatever. I'm gonna explore the side passages because I can explore the side passages. I'm gonna do what I want, and I don't care about the consequences. Uh. So he's gone that way. Okay, so he went left there. So I'm going to go right. I'm going to find a rupee. A whole rupee. I am the happiest person ever in the world. And that's where I need to get to. Okay. <laughs> so, well, no, that was all part of the plan. Because now I know exactly where it is. I can win the race. And also, I don't have to go down the secret side passages for rupees. Because I already have them all. Oh, see, this is all strategy, guys. This is all... The perfect plan. Getting set on fire, the perfect plan. Yep, that's exactly what I meant to happen. Yeah, let me... Have... <laughs> Managed to somehow avoid getting hit by any fire last time. That's not the case this time, is it? Yeah, through here, through here, through here. Uh, wait, keep follow uh, I've got to keep following you. Dang it. Dang it. I'm going to just ignore the side path now because all they've led to so far is rat single rupees. And I don't really care about those. Man, these rooms look incredibly interesting. And I really want to explore them. But man, I don't want to repeat this whole thing. <laughs> through, 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 through. Okay, I made it, I made it, I made it. So let's keep going. Man, I, 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 I kind of want to explore this place. Dampy. Is that your name? Dampy? Uh, and now you're introducing small inclines. That's not fair. You can fly. <laughs> What, 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 the what? Oh. <laughs> I was about to go running off the cliff, but, well. Oh, no, 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 don't close, don't close, don't close, don't close! Okay. <laughs> Dumpy! I made it! Simon's race was 107. Is that ever going to change? Because he, doesn't he go at the same speed? Uh, or, was he, or was he, like, speeding up because I was faster? I don't know. It's the hook shot! Oh boy! <laughs> the hook shot! Okay. I'm wondering just how many places have just opened up because of this hook shot. Because honestly, the ability to get to basically anywhere you can see. Uh, opens up a lot exploration wise. I mean you'll notice that I've kind of avoided doing massive explorations of the seven years later world because I'm just not in that in an exploratory kind of mood right now. Okay. Oh hey, I, I, I can use the I can guess I can use the hook shot to get um Skulltulla tokens or things like that in the distance. Oh man. Awesome. This has made me very happy. Yeah. <laughs> so I can like, uh, well I can't actually grapple to any of those. But I can't grapple to that. Maybe this isn't going to be quite as useful as I thought. <laughs> but oh well. Now my biggest fear right now is that I've missed like a piece of heart somewhere in that maze. Uh, what does he want me to do with this? Does he want me to hook shot it? Does he want me to hook shot out of here, maybe? No? Uh, what? What do you want? Do you want me to bomb it? Or something? You clearly want me to do something with something here. Can I push it out the way? Or pull it? I can't check it. I can't ask Navi what's going on. Uh... I am confused. And I also can't leave this room. Uh, huh? Do I need to play a certain ocarina song? I am... Um, like, if I look around... Yeah, it's just like a s shallow ceiling. <laughs> what's what's the gimmick here? What's going on? 
If I can't bomb it, am I supposed to play, uh, I don't know, Zelda song or something? Or can I use my chicken? Chicken, help me! Chicken! No? Okay. Man, I was sure that was going to work. But... Uh, what song might be useful? Zelda's lullaby? Maybe? Uh, don't know if you can tell, guys. I'm kind of confused by what's... Navikai. <laughs> Isn't that the same design that's on the door of time? Okay. Let's play the song of time. <laughs> Fair enough. I can accept that I missed a visual clue a visual cue there. I can accept that something was missed. So that makes things disappear. Completely disappear, okay. And we can get out of here. I, I don't like I don't really see why there'd be something of time down here. I mean this is just a grave. <gasps> We're here! We're here! I, that piece of heart is mine, that piece of heart is going to be mine. I know this place. Da 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 the piece of heart will be mine! Yes! I remember that place. Now I've collected all the pieces of heart, I think. Well, four. Hi there! I like your tune. Please keep playing it. Okay. It's all that awkward. Sorry! Sorry! Sorry, sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I only wanted to compliment you. Ah, oh, dang it. I really shouldn't have uh, done what I did. Oh well. I think I'm gonna need to end this episode because I'm at like 30 minutes now. Ah, oh, man. Uh, so we got the hook shot. And I'm actually incredibly worried about what's down here. Um. Pretty sure I couldn't get in here last time, right? Um, I still... Chicken, open the door! Chicken, do something useful! Oh no, fine. Chicken's kind of useful, useless, isn't it? <laughs> uh, next time on Zelda and the Five Stooges, we will go... Uh, yo, oh yeah, we want to go to the forest, don't we? I'm pretty sure that's why I had to come to Kakariko Village to, like, get the hook shot, and now I have to go... Yeah. Uh... To the Lost Woods and to Zora's Domain? Uh, well, I think we're going to Lost Woods next time, so we're going back to Kakiri Forest and seeing what's what's changed there in seven years. I sure hope not much, because frankly I've kind of made a mess of this world, haven't I? Can we start over with a new world? No? Okay. Oh, so I have to go to Death Mountain as well, so I'm guessing these are the locations of the first three sages and I could do them in any order, maybe, or something like that, because all three are flashing. And I know one was a forest, one was a mountain, one was a river, and I think... Yeah. What's this place over here? Oh, Gerudo Valley. I've not, I've not been there yet. Okay, next time, um, Ocarina of Time. See you next time, folks.